Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Vicki Parsons and I am going to be leading you in a workout today that is going to help you promote strong bone health. As we get older, our bone density starts to decrease and so it's really important for us to continue to do weight bearing exercises in order to prevent further atrophy of that bone density or even improve our bone density numbers if we're um, lucky. Uh, so, we, if we're standing, if we're walking, if we're doing lower body exercises, which most of us are better at, that does help. But I'm going to encourage you to add in upper body exercises in order to really work on that uh, weight bearing of your skeleton. Um, we tend to neglect the upper body throughout life and then only when we hear the doctor say your bone density numbers are low, do we get interested in possibly doing some weight-bearing exercises. For this class, we're going to remain standing because standing, we're putting weight, whatever your body weight is, on your lower extremities. So the bone from the pelvic bone on down, actually the spine as well, you're bearing your own body weight. We will also use hand weights. So I'm going to ask you to find some hand weights in your home. If you do not have a set of hand weights, use some sort of uh, something that has weights. Weighted um, sandbags, if you have some water bottles, you can use and fill them with water. Um, Camp goods, they're only about a pound, so I usually recommend a little bit more weight than that. So find your weights and uh, we'll get started today. If you at any time need to stop and slow down if you're newer to doing exercises, especially with weights, you don't want to overdo it because you do want to be able to get out of bed tomorrow. Those of you who have been working out with me for a few years, I'm going to push you, um, so just keep going. My motto and what I share with everybody else is when you get really tired, when you feel like you can't do any more, do two more and then stop and stop for just a short period of time and then rejoin if you can. So we're all in different places in our workout journey. It's really important to be good to our bodies, be good to our minds, but movement is so beneficial to us, especially as we get older. So we're gonna go ahead and get started, just warming up those muscles a little bit. We're gonna start by grabbing our arms, our hands in the front, reaching those arms up towards the ceiling stretching those hands up towards the ceiling while you're trying to move them behind the ear. If you can't get them back that far, don't worry about it, but stretch up and back and hold that stretch. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring it down and stretch to the side. You'll feel that in the center of your body as you push those arms over to one direction and then over to the other direction. Good, holding it. Now we're gonna go back this way. Hold it, and then back this direction. Just go ahead and roll those shoulders back, loosening up that upper body. One, two, three, four, five, forward. One, two, three, four, five. The other thing that I always recommend, some people would say I nag about, is to open up that chest. Really open that chest. Think about lifting that chin up. It's kind of zipping up all of that um, center part of your body so you're in, engaging that core. When you do that, you're, you're probably gonna feel those muscles in the back part of your core um, contract a little bit, tighten up a little bit. So that's a good thing. Posture starts to atrophy, so you wanna always be thinking about that. All right, let's go ahead and stretch out that calf muscle. Front leg bent, back leg extended behind you, heel to the ground. Just hold it, don't bounce it. You do want to feel that in behind the knee and all the way down into the calf muscle, holding it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then the other leg, same thing. Push that leg behind you, heel to the ground, hold it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, bring those feet together. I call this one the pony. You're sort of starting good posture with the knee bent, your uh, ball of the foot 
is on the ground. And with that, you push on that ball of the foot, which will then lift the other leg and push. Waking up those toes, the tendons and ligaments in the ankle area, all the muscle throughout the leg starts to engage. You're also weight bearing because we're standing. So this is a great activity to do while you're at home. Uh, we're just warming up right now, but if you get up out of your chair while you're watching TV, um, or just doing the dishes, or standing behind a grocery cart in the grocery store line, and do this little exercise, this is a good one just to warm up those tendons and ligaments and muscles in the lower leg. And five more, one, two, three, four, and five, good. All right, take a breath and exhale. Now, speaking of breathing, go ahead and pick up your weights and we will start by talking briefly about breathing as a reminder to some of you and for some of you, you may not have learned the importance of breathing correctly, but you're going to breathe in, take a breath, exhale on the way up. So when you're lifting the weight is when you exhale and you come down and you breathe in, exhale on the way up, right? And I'm gonna give you one more example. So you're gonna breathe in, exhale on the way up, and come back down, breathe in, exhale on the way up. So just a little reminder, sometimes we forget to breathe when we're working out and breathing is extremely important. We need that oxygen to come in uh, to, in order for our cells to be most efficient, um, not deficient, efficient. All right, feet a little bit apart. We're gonna go ahead and start with the arm curl. So your hands, palms up. By the way, if you've taken other classes from me, like the weights and bands workout that has the cardio element, Osteo Strong is slower because we wanna make the most of the weight on our skeleton. So we're not trying to get a cardio workout in, although your heart rate will go up. We're trying to really think about having that weight. So on the way down, in coming down slowly and not just letting those weights drop us, um, our arms down, uh, that weight bearing is on the way up and the way down. <clears throat> so keeping that big back is strong. Think about having a two by four strapped on that back when you bring those weights up. And so you're not using the back to do the lifting. The lifting is isolated to the muscle in the, in the arm, which is lifting uh, that, those weights, which puts weight on the bone. You can't separate muscle and bone. It all works together, so strong muscle is really important. All right, we're gonna lift up arm curl and then come down slowly. Don't let it fall, two and three. Four, don't forget to breathe correctly. Five, six, good, seven, eight, nine, ten, keep going if you can, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 15, now stop right here. You wanna keep that arm at a right angle, holding those weights, letting those weights just sit on the arm. Hold it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. You're probably feeling that, let's curl again. You don't need to move to do weight bearing. That's what standing is. Right, so five more, ready, one, two, three, smile, helps to smile, and last one, five, bring it back to this position, hold it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Resting position, take a breath, and exhale, good. All right, let's bring those weights in front. So we're gonna have the weights in front. Again, nice strong back, don't lean over. Keep those weights nice and strong. Lift to the chest area and back down. Again, don't let those weights drop you down. You wanna control that movement on the way down so that you're getting the full benefit of weight bearing. 
Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, keep going, eight, nine, ten, good job everyone, twelve, you can do this, 13, 14, last one, 15, back down here, but bring it back up and let's just hold it. So we have these little wings coming out. We're holding these weights kind of in front of our chest area or our belly area, holding it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and come back down. Whew. Should be feeling that, good. All right, knuckles forward. So on this one, I'm gonna turn a little bit so uh, that you can see the winging back. We're gonna wing those arms back and come back to the side. So you don't wanna swing them in front of the side of your body. And let me just move this just a little bit, make sure that I have space to do this. And I will show you again on this side and stop. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, resting position. Take a nice deep breath and exhale. Good. Back here again. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and stop. Good. If you are newer to exercise, do about half. And then each day you can increase the number, or every few days, increase the number that you can do. You'll get stronger, um, but don't overdo it. And if you are uh, an old pro, I shouldn't say old pro, but if you're a pro and you've been doing these exercises with me for a while, then I encourage you to add more weight, get heavier weights and try a little bit more. All right, we're gonna bring those weights to the front and keeping that back strong, like you have that two by four on that back, you're gonna lift those weights up. Ready, one, two, just using the arms to do the lifting, four, five, Six, don't forget to breathe. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and back down to the side. Good, good job. Take a breath and exhale. Let's bring those weights to the chest area. Elbows are out, nice strong back. Open up that chest and bring those arms back as far as you can. You'll feel that upper back. If we hold it like this for very long, you're gonna feel that upper back. Um, those muscles in the upper back start to ache a little bit and close it. Ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, close it. Bring those weights down to the side. Take a breath, exhale. Good, come back up, wings out. Straight line from elbow to elbow, open it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, just let's stop right here. This is a killer. Keep those weights up at the top of the shoulder area between the, between the upper chest and the lower chin area. You wanna keep them up here holding it. If I just talk forever, you're gonna start. It's a good thing you're, you can turn me off, right? I'm on the video, but this is gonna, you're gonna feel this. Hold it, great weight bearing. 
Five more, one, two, three, four, five. Close it, open it two more, two, woo! Good, let those weights come down to the side. Good, all right, take a breath. You're probably feeling your heart rate go up a little bit. As I said, this is not a cardio exercise, but anytime you're moving your body, including with weights, you don't have to go out and run, cycle, swim to get a cardio workout. You can get a cardio workout um, through any sort of exercise. That's just about getting the heart rate up. All right, let's bring those weights to the shoulder area. And we're gonna push. So you wanna get to this extended straight arm position, straight up above the head and back down. Ready, one, two, three, remember exhale on the way up, four, five, six, seven, don't go too fast, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 15, and stop into resting position. Good, we're becoming osteo strong. Let's go back up to the shoulder now and do it again. Ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and resting position. Good, you can put the weights down. We will come back to them in just a few minutes. Um, shake out those arms a little bit. If you wanna grab some water, grab some water, take a rest. You can always pause this video. Uh, at any time you can pause the video. So if you need a couple of minutes to take a break and then rejoin, just pause the video or you can always rewind me and I will still be there and you can start over. Fast forward me and you'll be done quicker. Um, not, can't do that in a live class, right? <laughs> Some of you are wishing we could. All right, we're gonna shake out those arms and we'll come back to them. But we are going to now turn to a kitchen counter or a table or something that you can hold on for secure reasons because we're gonna start with a single leg stance which is a nice strong body, engaging the core muscles, opening up that chest area. And we're gonna go up on, basically we're putting all of our body weight on one leg. Let me turn this way so you can see what I'm doing, but I want you to use two hands. And I don't want you to come too far away from that counter or, or tabletop. I want you to come close so that you may remain straight and go up. Two putting all of our body weight on that one leg. Four, <clears throat> five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and good. Probably feeling that. Other leg, single leg stance, and go up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and stop. Good. All right. We are going to continue with our lower body. We're putting our body weight now on the skeleton from the pelvic bone on down, pulling our feet apart so there's about eight to 10 inches between the heels. The toes are pointing out. I wanna really think about opening up that chest and engaging those core muscles and go up on those toes. I always recommend being able to have something nearby uh, for steadiness reasons, just because when we're up here on our toes, um, we have balance issues. This is a great balance exercise, by the way, but that's not the purpose of this class. So we're just really working the muscle in order to put weight onto this bone. Ready, one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and back down. By the way, we're going to do another set of those in a second. Shake your legs out if you need to. I do this particular exercise every time I brush my teeth. So I'm standing in front of that bathroom counter and I have a toothbrush in one hand and I just go up and down. It's almost, um, I call it habit stacking because I have the habit of brushing my teeth. Nobody has to tell me to brush my teeth. Um, and so when I started doing this particular activity, I had to put little sticky notes on my mirror to remind me to do the releves up and down when I'm brushing my teeth. But now it's a habit. It just, it's like if I have a toothbrush in my hand, my body starts going up and down. That's called habit stacking. A new habit that you want to form, stack it on top of something else that you're successful with. And pretty soon you'll find that they both work together and that it's a combined habit. And I love that. Um, so that's just a little tip that I use. Uh, sometimes if I'm waiting in a long line behind a grocery basket, a uh, grocery cart, I will, in a grocery store line, I will go up and down as well. All right, we're gonna do this again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, five more. One, two, three, four, five. Step out, way out, toes still pointing out. Bend those knees, this is not a squat. We're just gonna plie down a little bit, putting that weight on that femur bone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and back up. So you're probably feeling that. Those are the muscles, the quads in your leg that you're using to do that lifting, um, and you're feeling that. So you get like a two for one in this class. You get the muscle strengthening and also the weight bearing on that bone. Staying in this position, bend those knees, don't lock them up, keep them bent. We're gonna just pulse it for a sec here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and back up. Good, bring those feet together. Back to that pony position, feet parallel, pushing from one ball of the foot to the other. I'm kind of going to show it in slow motion right now. And when we do a cardio workout, we actually increase the speed and sometimes can add one or both arms in order to really use this as a no impact cardio exercise. So if you're up for it, uh, put your TV on, put some music on, whatever you have, and just do a mile run, stationary mile run. Okay, and 10 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Woo, good, all right. Well, if you need to grab some water, grab some water or push pause if you need to take a few more minutes and the rest of us are gonna go ahead and pick up our weights and go back to the arms. So, grab your weights. By the way, I always mention this, or I try to remember to mention this. If you're not up for weights yet, you can still do the movement. So if we're doing the arm curl, and you could even just do that movement. Doing some movement isn't gonna give you that weight bearing, but it's better than doing nothing. So follow along um, as best you can. Or if you have an injury or have had surgery, and you're recovering, um, you can also not use weights or use weight on one arm rather than the other one. So just keep that in mind. Good, all right, feet a little bit apart for good stability and you want those uh, weights down at the side. Good, strong back, engage the core. 
smile. It does help to smile. Um, put on some music in your home if you'd like to instead of just listening to me. You can also mute me and listen just to the music. And let's run those weights up the side of the body, sort of like a pulley system, to the armpit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Resting position. Good. Take a breath. Exhale. We're going to go to strong man, strong woman. I just made up that name. Well, I didn't just make it up. I've been calling it that for a few years, but you want to... Uh, have those arms out to the side. There should be a straight line or close to a straight line from elbow to elbow when your arms are kind of in a right angle. And your arms don't change position, just your hands move up and meet over your head. So that angle in your elbow area stays the same. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Stop here. Let's just hang out with those weights in those hands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 19, 20, and again, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop and bring those arms down to resting position. Whew, probably feeling that. Good. Okay, so on this next one, I want you to take the weights, bring them up over your head, and I want you to try to reach for your upper back. So you're going to bend those arms. It's a great range of motion exercise, but also weight bearing. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, go to fifteen if you can, fourteen, and fifteen, bring it up, bring it to the front, and good. All right, now that we're in front, like you have these weights growing out of your belly area. Palms are sort of facing off. And you're just gonna twist those wrists and then back down. And one, two, three. Make sure you see what I'm doing here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, take a break if you need it, nineteen, Twenty in resting position. Good. Take a breath and exhale. All right, we're going to go ahead and put those weights down. We'll have one last little bit to do with the weights in a minute. Um, we're going to go back to those legs. We're going to do the same sequence, standing on one leg, 
Single stance, single leg stance, and up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Other foot. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good. Back to the other leg. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You can't do all twelve. Do three. Do five. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good. Bring those feet apart about eight inches between the heels. Engage that core. Open up the chest and releve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, ooh, screaming calves, right? <laughs> Shake it out. Good. One last one here. Bring those feet apart. Bend those knees and come down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and back up. Good. All right, pick your weights up. Last little bit with the weights. Your arms are probably getting tired by now, so uh, anything you need to do to modify, go ahead or just pause the video and come back to it in a few minutes if you need to rest. Grab water, um, but let's all take a breath. And exhale. Good. So our arms are hanging down. We did the arm curl to start with. Now we're gonna have our arms down to the side. We're gonna still curl those arms up and it's still putting weight bearing on that same bone, but we have different muscle groups being used here. And curl up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Are you breathing? 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Stop right here, sort of like you're holding a steering wheel. Hold it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Breathe out. Whew, good. One more with the weights, and then you will have finished the weight section. Bring them up here. If you do my other class that has cardio in it, we go really fast on this to get that cardio going. It's actually a little harder sometimes to do it slower. But we're going to punch out and back, and out and back. Push, punch. Push, punch, keep it up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, bring it in, bring it down, good, take a breath, and exhale, good, all right, put the weights back down, 
little pony time just to give our arms a rest. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and one last set of well legs. Feet are a little bit apart, toes pointing out. Engage those core muscles in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and back down. Good. So you're probably thinking, well, you said we were done with the arms or we're done with the weights. We are done with the weights, but we're not done with the arms. So this final section is not about weight bearing. It is about weight bearing in that it's strengthening and toning muscle. And we must have efficient, strong, toned muscle in order to be able to lift that weight. So as we get weaker, why we can't go upstairs and we can't lift things is because our muscles start to atrophy. And so you want to keep your muscles nice and strong. That's why all these workouts, they all work together. But at the end, the little section here um, is to strengthen and tone muscle. So I want you to put your hands out. And the goal is for endurance. You want to keep those arms up and follow along. Palms down, small circles forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, palms up and back. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now you're going to put those palms down again in big circles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, palms up back, one, you can do more if you want, two, three, just rewind, do it again, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, palms down, we're going to cross those arms in front and then back out and then the other. And one, two, keep the arms up, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, keep those arms out, palms down, and now palms up and down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, Woo! All right, good job everyone. Shake out those arms, shake the whole body if you need to. Good job, you just had a really great workout. And now we're gonna stretch up, bring it in, bring it out, and exhale. Stretch up, breathe in, bring it out, and exhale. I want you to think of something really joyful in your life right now. Whether that be a bird you just saw outside your window or a family member coming to visit or a song you heard or a movie you're going to see. Something that makes you smile. And when you do so, bring those arms up. Out to the side and exhale. Good. Bring those elbows in, push them out. In, push them out. In, 
Push all that stuff away that you don't want in your life. Push it away. Good. Now grab everything you do want in your life and pull it in. Extend, pull it in. Extend, pull all the good stuff towards you. One more time. And stop. Good. Let's just stretch out that calf muscle real quick. Front leg bent, back leg extended behind you. Stretch it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And good. Good job, everyone. Thank you for joining me for Osteo Strong. And I hope you will continue to be active, healthy, and well for as long as you're able to. The more you work out, the more you're likely to start being able to move more and enjoy some of your activities of daily living. Everything we just did today, just about everything, can be done from a chair. So if you need to modify, sit down, you can still do all the upper body exercises. You can even sit in a chair and bring your heels off the ground while sitting, which is gonna give you at least a little bit of movement, if not the weight bearing. All right, have a wonderful day and thank you for